Hello and welcome back to No BS. Today we return to talking about Hollywood and another casting controversy. That's right, casting has become a big issue in Hollywood. And recently, a new movie was announced starring Gal Gadot, the woman who plays Wonder Woman, is starring in a new movie where she's going to play Cleopatra. Cleopatra is a famous character from history. Many, many generations ago, she ruled over an empire based in Egypt. And apparently, many people haven't studied their history books. Specifically, a lot of leftists are getting triggered by this casting for two specific reasons. One of them is fairly obvious. They don't like white people. They don't like us being cast as the leads in movies, and they think this is some sort of whitewashing of the character, but that's actually not true. The history supports the fact that Cleopatra, although from a Middle Eastern African area of the world, she wasn't actually dark-skinned. She was very likely white or from a, a lighter-skinned background, possibly European descendant or whichever it may be. Essentially, Essentially, the leftists are mad because they wanted her to be black or brown. She's cast by Gal Gadot, who's obviously this white chick who is very stunning, by the way. She's a beautiful actress. She does pretty good in her movies, too. Not necessarily the best actor in the world, but certainly something great to look at. And I think it's a fine choice for this role since she is actually Middle Eastern white. She's from Israel. She's an Israeli. But that actually also might be the other problem. That's the number two issue I was going to bring up here is that the leftists hate Jewish people now. Like they're not a big fan of the Israelites. They don't like these kinds of people. They're actually a fan of the other religion that opposes the Jews, the one that fights them and kills them all the time in the Middle East. They also attack Americans. And, you know, it's just part of their anti-American thing. The leftists, they don't like America. They don't like Christians or Jews. They love this other religion that starts with an I. And I think that's another reason they're coming after Gal Gadot for being cast here. First, it's with Cleopatra and their misunderstanding of history. And then in addition, their hatred of this place and of this part of the world. This is a part of the world that some radical YouTubers on the left has said they want wiped off the map. They want to totally remove this country. So it's no surprise when an actor from there gets a part, they all get triggered and totally upset about it. So that's what we're talking about. We're going to talk about this ridiculous woke story. And the details come from this place. It says, this is an article from Culture. It's called, Was Cleopatra White After Controversial Gal Gadot Casting Experts Weigh In? Yeah, and I don't think they're going to like what those experts say. And already we could see this is a silly story from some silly people not to be taken seriously. Soon after, news broke that Gal Gadot will portray Cleopatra. A debate emerged about not whether the Israeli actress was capable to play the part, but whether a white woman should be playing the Queen of the Nile at all. Newsweek spoke to some experts on ancient Egypt to find out what the prevailing theory is regarding Cleopatra's ethnicity. I think it's pretty much known that she was light-skinned. That's the kind of end of the story. I'm not saying whether or not she's white. Like I don't want to misspeak and get it wrong, but she definitely wasn't dark, black, or brown. And I think that's what these people are going for. And I think this just brings up the larger problem. It's that whenever, if you're, (laughs) this is the weird thing. It's kind of like, I call it reverse racism sometimes. It's just straight up racism. But according to them, you can't actually be racist to whites. They actually think whites have all this power so you can actually just attack us and it's okay. That's like their justification. And it's typical because all racists have justifications for the way they think. They have a way to have mental gymnastics to help them kind of sleep at night. But essentially, the problem here is if you're a leftist and you look at a movie and it's cast with a white person and that gets you triggered, that makes you the racist. That makes you offensive. That means you don't like a certain group of people. And whenever they're put into a part or a job or something like that, if that triggers you, that's on you. That's you being offensive. That's you being racist against a certain group. And I think this story really portrays that well. The debate about what exactly Cleopatra looked like isn't really a new one. Shakespeare dramatically described her beauty, while ancient artwork often depicts her as rather plain. A coin discovered in 2007 from 32 BC depicts her as somewhat homely. On the big screen, she's been played notably by white women and glamorous ones at that. Claudette, Colbert, Vivian Lee, and most memorable of all, Elizabeth Taylor. Of the matter of her ethnicity, there's still quite a bit of debate. Cleopatra VII was white, of Macedonian descent, as were all of the Ptolemy rulers who lived in Egypt, said Catherine Bard, professor of archaeology and classical studies at Boston University. So there's already one confirmation, her being from Macedonia. I knew it was some kind of like European adjacent area. And the rulers at that time were light-skinned. They ruled over these areas. That's the way it was. If that upsets you, I mean, you just hate history. You're just being strange and odd. And there's a classic portrayal of them. This is Elizabeth Taylor playing the character. So it's traditionally been played by white actors as well. So this 
sort of kind of controversy is definitely questionable. It's definitely showing more about the leftists than it's showing about Hollywood and the actors and the people being made than the people making this movie. Professor Barr's conclusion has long been the most widely accepted thought on Cleopatra's background, which holds that she, like all of Egypt's Alexandria-based rulers, was descended from Alexander the Great's General Ptolemy I Soter. Though there have been some who dispute this claim in recent years, Gerald Kaddish, a distinguished teaching professor emeritus of history and Near Eastern Studies at Binghamton University, there is no universal agreement about her ethnicity, but the one unresolved, perhaps unresolvable, relevant issue is, who was her mother? We know who her father was, he continued. He was certainly not black. None of her siblings was anything but Greco-Macedonian, as far as I know. Cleopatra's relations with her siblings have more to do with power than any ethnicity, and she was her father's favorite. The mother of Cleopatra has been suggested to have been from the family of priests of Memphis. If this were the case, then Cleopatra would have been at least 50% Egyptian in origin. Betsy M. Bryan Alexander Badaway, professor of Egyptian art and archaeology at John Hopkins University, contends. So it's almost like they want her to be black here. It's like they're going to keep looking for some kind of answer that they want. They're not accepting the common, very reasonable explanation that she's from Macedonia, this like Greek adjacent area. So she's white. She has white skin. She's light skin. Nothing wrong with that. But when you're a liberal leftist and you get triggered by stuff and you hate white people, that's where they start to take issue. That's why we're at a problem and a crossroads here. It's about them trying to influence the public, in this case, influence movies and come out with things that are pro-progressive, pro-minorities, anti-white. And so that's why a lot of them are taking offense. And what you really got to think about is how bad are they right now? I mean, these kinds of leftists that are complaining, that are trying to be, they're trying to be anti-racist. They're trying to claim that they don't want this character played a certain person because they're the anti-racist, but really it's coming across as anti-white racist. And yeah, it's just another thing that shows that you can't win with these people. You give them so much, they get so much support in movies. Every single movie is catering to them. Everyone has the diversity quotas. The Oscars just added a literal diversity quota saying best picture and all the Oscars have to have certain amounts of minorities. So they're getting everything handed to them and it's still not enough. One movie with one white actress and they're still not happy. They're still totally upset and triggered. And it's coming from a pretty based kind of actress. Like I wouldn't say she's based on our end, but she's very woke too. She participated in those Imagine videos, video we covered. It was like they're singing that song and it was really cringy. And she's done other woke stuff too. So she's not like someone they should be hating. She goes along with their progressive crap and does their little videos and fundraisers and stuff. In addition, she starred in a franchise like Justice League and the Wonder Woman movies. I believe this movie is actually directed by Patty Jenkins, who directed Wonder Woman. So for them to come against them, I mean, these are Hollywood elites. They're in the good circles. They're doing as much as they can to do things right. And I really think they're probably dumbfounded by this whole reaction to Cleopatra, as they should be. I mean, no one should really expect this except for maybe us. I might have been able to tell them because I've seen this reaction to so many kinds of announcements and castings that we could have seen this coming had I known the Cleopatra movie was getting introduced. Now it's happened. Now we're talking about the fallout. And now we're talking about this silly, silly response from the left. In 2009, a team of archaeologists for a BBC documentary working under Hilk Thur of the Austrian Academy of Sciences furthered the theory of her mother's origins differing from the accepted Macedonian lineage when they found what they believed to be the remains of Princess Arisino, Cleopatra's sister in Turkey. The researcher said Arisino's remains indicate that her mother, who was also likely Cleopatra's, was African. That Arsino had an African mother is a real sensation which leads to a new insight on Cleopatra's family and the relationship of the sisters Cleopatra and Arsino through her at the time. So again, it's like they want her to be black. They're looking, they're searching for it. They're trying their hardest. They're digging things up. They're digging up like fringe accounts. And this article is clearly trying to get woke with it, trying to support this idea, this kind of accepted fact. And yeah, it's just classic leftist meddling, rewriting history, which is something they love to do too. A year before the discovery of Arsenault's remains, Egyptologist Dr. Sally Ann Ashton and her team used forensics to create a 3D computer animated image of Cleopatra of what she believed would have been the Egyptian monarch's visage. The image caused a stir because it did not show a white woman at all, but a brown-skinned woman with cornrows. Cleopatra's father was referred to as Nothos, and the identity of her mother has been questioned by historians. It is suggested that both women may have Egyptian and so African, Dr. Ashton told Newsweek. Before acknowledging the discovery of the purported remains of Arsenault, Cleopatra ruled in Egypt long before the Arab settlement in North Africa. If the maternal side of her family were indigenous women, they were African.
African, and this would have been reflected in any contemporary representations of Cleopatra. So again, more reaching, more trying to look for this African connection. It's very possible. I'm not saying I'm against it. Things can change. You can have new discoveries. I'm not like trying to be anti-history on my side either. If there's conclusive evidence, let's go with it. But also, if these movie makers want to tell the story with a certain actor, like that's allowed too. Like you could also have an argument against this that has nothing to do with it. Like the character could have been fully black and casting Gal Gadot can still be the project's choice. Like there's nothing wrong with kind of changing a character in a project. I mean, it happens all the time. And if it happens in another direction, it would be totally fine. Like for example, taking away white characters is always okay. Anytime that happens, it's rewarded and cheered on. We just talked about that Black Adam movie starring Dwayne The Rock Johnson. He's playing a main character who is actually of Egyptian origin too. And the other thing about Egyptians is they're not quite as dark black as the rest of Africa. It's like leaning towards the Arab Peninsula. It's like right there on the the border there. So they're definitely lighter skinned than some of the other blacks in like say other parts of West Africa, South Africa, stuff like that. But the point is, even if they were right and Cleopatra was half black, I think that's the most they could give her. I mean, that's not necessarily the biggest deal. Like you could change roles. We've talked about them changing roles. Like in another one in Black Adam was Hawkman is totally changed from white to black. We just talked about the boys show how a character was changed from male to female. Like these changes are okay, but they have to go in a certain direction. And that's another reason why this story is so hypocritical. That about wraps things up. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you comment your thoughts on everything below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed what you saw. Subscribe if you're new and hit the bell for notifications too. Until next time, have a great day.